Hey guys, it's Thursday afternoon, December 21st. The husband just got out of the gym. He's here next to me. Hello. Hello, yeah. And, Hello. And I just got out of physical therapy. My shoulder hurts. Um, we're gonna go get some lunch and then go home and do exciting things like laundry. <laughs> you don't want togos for lunch? Uh, I don't really want togos for lunch again. Yeah. Okay. I like togos, but each sandwich is like a thousand calories. True. Even if you get the vegetarian one. They are a high, highly caloric. It's just all that bread. It's a lot of bread. Yeah, they're big sandwiches too. Yeah. So we're still using the app Lose It, and of course the husband is losing weight and it's not doing a thing for me. No, I'm not. I'm not losing weight. I'm actually, I've gained weight over the holidays. Well. I gained five pounds. I haven't gained, but I haven't lost anything. I think Rebecca's been losing weight. Our daughter's doing it too. I think she lost 0.2 pounds the other day. That's better than what I've done. Yeah. I've, I've done anything. anything. I well, sitting on our ass all day on the computer or on the couch doesn't help either. No, it doesn't. Uh, um, at I least go I got some there. I got some arm exercises in this morning. Yeah, at therapy, too. that's my, a little bit of something. My ribs still hurt. Yeah, that's because you fell off the ladder. I can only do two sets of sit-ups. My second set started hurting and I felt a twinge. I go, I'm stopping. Well, that's good. You need to... You need to stop when it starts to hurt. That's what they tell you in physical therapy. That's right. All right. So we're going to go do all that and we'll be back. Hey guys, we spent the morning cleaning the house and getting ready for Christmas and having house guests and I'm having some lunch and uh, I just wanted to give a little bit of update. The app that we've been using to just be healthier uh, that I didn't think was really going to work to track like calories and everything, I was wrong. I've lost three pounds and I've only been doing it a week. So I've got to think that I'm just conscious of the fact that I'm doing it and not snacking and drinking a lot more water. I already did drink a lot of water, but drinking even more. I think that's what it is. Anyway, just a little bit of an update. So that's it for right now. I'll be back. My vegetarian friends are going to want to skip ahead. You're going to find this next part offensive. So just, you know, skip ahead a bit. <laughs> so I am in the kitchen with my big sharp pointy thing and um, my pot and I've got some chicken bones when we do a roast chicken I always save the carcass and any leftover bits of meat nobody wants to eat and I freeze them and then when I have a couple bags of frozen bones and chicken bits I put them in this pot I actually have a few more right here I put them in a pot Usually the crock pot, but today I didn't feel like getting the crock pot out, so, you know, there's that. I add some um, herbs that I'm fancying at the moment. Today I have sage and Italian parsley. You could really do anything, whatever, you know, kind of green thing, green herbs and things that you like to have with chicken. I like to use fresh ones, but of course you could use dried. It doesn't make any difference. And I wash them off, crush up the leaves so they're aromatic and you can smell them. And then put them in the pot with the chicken. I tend to not leave the icky ends on. I throw those away. And then <clears throat> the same thing with the parsley. You're propped up on the pepper, by the way, in case you're wondering. The same thing with the parsley and then it up now I like onions and garlic but again add in there what you like 
Maybe you don't like either one of those. Don't add them. I never put salt. I have high blood pressure, so if I don't need salt to have something taste good, it doesn't go in. Chicken broth is usually, for me, something that I use to cook other things that I season afterwards. So like my butter, which is also unsalted, I don't want the chicken broth unsalted either. It can make whatever I cook with it too salty. Got an onion. And I'm switching to cloth produce bags, by the way. They should actually be in today. I don't like using the plastic ones. There's really, they're really difficult to recycle. And yeah, we're gonna be switching to cloth ones. We'll have to wash them, but yeah, it's okay. So I'm going to rough cut my onion here, I'm going to peel it, maybe, <laughs> having, having issues getting the onion peeled. Um, if you are sensitive to um, onions and having them make you cry, try refrigerating it because generally for me I found if they're refrigerated there's something about that that makes it less uh, bitter to your eyes and makes you cry less. Not always. Sometimes some onions are really powerful and so then there's just nothing you can do. But it, this is just a plain yellow onion and usually refrigerating them works. It did in this case. It's not bothering me at all. So I'm just roughly chopping that, big chunks. Add that to your pot. I think I'm gonna add some garlic. I have, I have some. So I think we're gonna use it. Add it all to the pot. Let's get the garlic. Some of that, you know, already cut up garlic. Okay, now we're gonna add water to our pot until it just covers everything and then bring it to the boil and let it simmer. Just let it simmer for like a couple of hours. Um, until it's really strong and aromatic and uh, yeah, reduces down a little bit. Yeah. Oops. If I do it in the crock pot, then I let it simmer for like four hours. Um, if I, I'm doing it on the stove today, so I'm going to leave it simmer for at least two hours, maybe three. I'm going to bring it to a boil on high and then after it's brought to a boil I'm going to turn it down to low so to like three I have an electric stove so like number three like low and just let it simmer let it simmer for a couple hours it's going to slowly reduce and cook release all the flavor from the vegetables the chicken and when it's done just let it turn it off let it cool um, divide it into small containers that you can put in your freezer. Um, I do use containers that are two cups. That seems to be an amount of chicken broth I use a lot, so two cup containers. And then when I want to make rice, instead of adding water, I add the chicken broth. Um, when I'm making um, chicken and beans, um, instead of adding water, I add chicken broth. It makes things taste a little bit better. So there's a quick tip for the week. Cooking tip. I don't do a lot of cooking anymore, but there you go. All right, that's it for right now. I'm going to wash my sharp pointy thing, and I'll be back. Good morning, everyone. It is de Saturday, December 23rd, the day before Christmas Eve, and we're off to the grocery store. I think the only worst day to go grocery shopping would be tomorrow. Yeah, I think we're a little crazy, but mm. yeah, we're out early trying to go get it done early. I don't know if that's going to help, but we're going to try, so we'll be back. You know, Costco's insane on a good day, the day before Christmas Eve. Let's just say it's not good, so we'll be back. 
I don't think I've ever seen this many people in line at Costco ever. It's full all the way down that way. And all the way down that way. Every single register is open. And the parking lot was full. Jam, completely full. We almost got hit by somebody trying to get through there quick. We still have one more store to go to. That's going to be fun. We're done at the last stop, thank goodness, because the traffic is just crazy. People aren't even waiting for folks to get out of their parking space before they're trying to get into the space. We've almost gotten run over a couple of times. <laughs> so, ah, we got everything we needed and we can just go home now. <laughs> Stay there until we need to go see family and people tomorrow and, sun and Monday. All right, that's it for now. I'll be back. Like what it is everywhere. I think they're waiting for us to leave. <laughs> it's just crazy. Merry Christmas, holy cow people. Christmas Eve everybody and uh, we are at the gas station filling up before we go out to dinner with friends and then later go to church and we have a lot of gas credits at Safeway our local grocery store and so my husband just said we're paying like 179 a gallon American dollars like when does that happen I guess we haven't used the credits in a while so I don't do much driving so I don't fill up that often and he hasn't been at work this for two weeks, so nice, huh? All right, so that's it. We are, we've already opened gifts with the kids. There's a little bit of clip that if you're watching this, you've already seen that. Um, we had a lot of fun. We had breakfast with them and, uh, and uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna go have something to eat, right? That's right, I'm gonna go out for dinner. Yes, with friends. With friends. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> It is Wednesday, December 27th, and uh, the house is quiet for a minute. As you saw in the previous little clip, uh, we spent yesterday visiting with my sister and her husband who are staying here for a few days, and my cousins and their children came over later. I didn't film that part. Um, we all spent a lot of time putting together this Game of Thrones 4D puzzle, and this part here, we started at about 4.30, 5 o'clock yesterday afternoon. We finished uh, at 12.30 in the morning. <laughs> Just this blue, this this part, this was really hard. This other part, the, um, the uh, second layer and then the little figurines that go in. We did all that this morning over coffee. It took like an hour. The, but the background, oh my God. So yeah, that was a pain in the neck. But we did it over dinner. Right, dear? Right. Yeah. Right there. So we got it. Like a selfie thing? Yeah. So we did it over dinner and uh, <laughs> we started it before dinner. Then we went to go have dinner. We pushed everything to the middle of the table, ate dinner. And then when we were done, we kept working on it because, you know. And then I've spent the rest of today um, after everybody left to go do their stuff. <laughs> purging I've been purging so my kitchen counters are like now husband wants to make lunch but yeah so I have to clean all this up because I found another closet to purge in and some stuff from my office it has got to go so that's it for today I hope you all had a Merry Christmas and uh, a happy holiday with your friends and family and uh, I'll hey be guys back. so we are taking advantage of the fact that our house guests my sister and her husband um, are out 
uh, visiting with friends and family. We got some stuff done around the house. I showed you my purging. I got that done. We had some lunch. We're out running a couple errands, going to the bank, the grocery store, that kind of thing. Um, and just kind of, you know, chilling a bit. So, uh, yeah, before uh, we do more entertaining. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, Christmas week is usually week for most of us full of entertain me, entertaining and friends and family and obligations. But I hope that when you're doing them, you're enjoying them. And I hope you remember to stop and take a deep breath. Uh, I hope you all have had a Merry Christmas. I hope you have a Happy New Year, a safe one. And uh, I'll see you again next week. Talk to you later. Bye. Thank you.